Hey y'all, I'm Justina, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm back with another reading. Um, this is just an energy update of what's going on between the Divine mas Masculine and the Karmic. But before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Please subscribe to my channel, do not forget. And can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? And if my reading resonates with you, can you please um, donate to my channel? I will highly appreciate it. But what I got uh, for the Divine Masculine and the Karmic, I have the Two of Pentacles. I have the Nine of Swords. I have the Seven of Cups. And I have the Four Swords. And then with my Love Oracle cards, I have Twin Flame. I have Healing Heart. I have Sunglasses. Okay, yeah, this bitch is crazy, y'all. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. And I have palm trees. As I'm reading these cards, so many downloads just coming to me. This is crazy. Um, With the Two of Pentacles, what I'm picking up, I'm picking up that the karmic is just up and down in her emotions. She's trying to balance her emotions. One minute, she hates the Divine Masculine. Then the next minute, she's in love with him. Um, He's her everything. He's her world. I feel that she's just trying to balance her um her work life and her love life. And it's like she's trying to what I'm getting, okay, so I'm getting that this karmic is um her life revolves around divine masculine, right? So, I'm getting that she's trying to balance out her work life and balance him. So, because, you know, he's like a priority to her, right? He's her, her lifeline. He's her life. So, it's like she's trying to balance... Yeah, her work life and balance the divine masculine. Or balancing her emotions. Whatever the case is, the divine masculine is like the center of what she's doing. Like, if she's trying to uh, balance out her emotions being up and down, it's because of the divine masculine. If she's trying to balance her work life and her love life, it's because of Divine Masculine. Like, you know, just trying to make sure she makes time for him, be there for him, but also, you know, trying to, I guess, like, take care of her priorities and do what she got to do. But with the Nine of Swords, all this is just cap because it's, it's like she's trying to put on this face that everything is good, she's happy, but really she's not. Look at this. Really she's out, um, not out, but really she's at home stressing, can't sleep, crying, worrying about this nigga. I wonder if he fucking with other hoes and all types of stuff. But yes, yeah, she's still trying to juggle and balance her balance what she got going on in her life and then balance the divine masculine as well but to me it doesn't make sense that's why i say she's crazy and delusional because why are you still trying to work this nigga into your plans and still make plans around him and evolve your life revolve your life around this dude and really when you're at home by yourself, all you're doing is crying and worrying about what he's doing. And then while she's so stressing and worrying about what he's doing, 
the divine masculine bitch, he's doing him. He looking at his options, fucking with different hoes, or seeing who he can hit up. <laughs> or it don't even have to be hoes. It can just be he got shit going on. As in, um, because for me, for example, my divine masculine, he got children with other people. So he could be balancing his children. You know, his children taking up his time. His business that he got taking up his time. He just got all And then my divine masculine, he's an alcoholic too. So my divine masculine, I don't know about yours, but I know for sure my divine masculine busy. Because this is my divine masculine kids. This is his alcohol. This is his business that he's running. This is the other hoes that he got besides the karmic. So, I don't know about y'all, but for shit show, my div divine masculine busy. And I know he ain't worrying about the karmic. But, <laughs> like I said, if this resonates with y'all, cool. But, from what I'm getting, I'm getting that this. Divine Masculine has other options. He got other things to be worried about. And then, I, I forgot to mention, he still... And then, on top of him, got other hoes. He got his children. He got his business. He got his alcohol. Then he um planning to come back to the Divine Feminine as well. So, that's on his to-do list. This karmic that he's been with or whatever weird, strange relationship, distant relationship they got going on... This bitch is nowhere near on his mind. But yet, he's the center of her attention. Like, he's the center of her world, okay? Everything she do, it revolves the divine masculine. She cares about how he think, how he feel. Just everything has to do with the divine masculine. While he got, he thinking hard over here about other shit, Okay? And then with the four swords, I told y'all this bitch is crazy. She's sleeping after she's done crying her heart out and stressing behind the divine masculine and shit. She go to sleep thinking, okay, well, it's just going to work itself out because, you know, relationships, we have problems. We go through things. So, it's just going to work itself out. And, y'all, let me tell y'all, the reason why this bitch feel that way because she thinks the divine masculine is her twin flame. She thinks their connection is a divinely guided connection. The thing is, let me tell y'all, their connection is divinely guided. But you want to know why? The reason why their connection was divinely guided because my divine masculine, your divine masculine had to meet these hoes so they can learn themselves and learn what they're they're doing wrong. They have to learn that shit with the with the karmics, not with the divine feminists. Because when they come to us, they already they ready. They ready to be the man that they supposed to be. They supposed to be a man and shit with us. Not with this karmic. So they have to meet these stupid idiotic assholes. So they can see themselves through these bitches. So they can want to change for themselves. So they can want to change and come back to the divine feminine. When they're ready to step up and be a man. And, and to do what's right for us. They couldn't. In the condition that the masculine is in, it's no way in hell he could have came to the divine feminine. He had to meet the idiot first before he came to us. He had to go through certain life lessons with this bitch before he can come to us. So that's why I don't get why so many people, so many divine feminists are upset about the divine masculine and the karmic when pretty much... How I see it, the karmic is just a crash dummy. We're the real deal. So he had to go, he had to learn and go through shit with this bitch first and before he can even come to the palace. Okay? Before he can even come to the throne and watching us sit on the on the motherfucking throne. The only thing the divine masculine can do is watch us from afar while we sit on the fucking throne and hold the castle down until this nigga was ready to come back to the fucking castle so he know that he's a divine he's a divine masculine. He's the king and we're the queens, not this karmic bitch. This karmic bitch was just 
like a, a in so many ways, she's like a teacher to him. Like, it's all about perception and how you view things. I used to think like, why is he with her? This some bullshit. He's supposed to be with me. But no, it may, to me, it makes sense. He's supposed to be with this bitch first before he can come to the queen. Okay? Period. But y'all, <laughs> I could go on and on and on. But back to the, the cards, y'all. So yeah, she thinks she's um the twin flame and that things is just going to work themselves out. And yeah, relationships go through their ups and downs. And I'm just trying to stick it out with my man because it's just going to work out. This bitch is crazy. And y'all look, can y'all see this card? She is laying down sleeping with a heart right here so this bitch really thinks like you know what i'm gonna just sleep this off yeah i know we just going through it but i'm gonna cry get this out of my system then i'm gonna sleep it off and then we just gonna be back in love again in the morning like that's how she really think healing heart healing from a heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction in my previous video i said Spirit gave her so many times, even the divine masculine. Spirit gave them both so many chances to break free from each other. Especially the karmic because healing from a broken heart. She know that the divine masculine is doing her wrong, did her wrong, betrayed her, did some type of whole ass shit to her. She knows this. This is not like she don't know it. She is aware of what's going on, what happened, what transpired between them. For her to know this, why you up crying late at night? Why you up stressing if your feelings not hurt? You know, so obviously something happened between them for her to feel this way. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. Okay, so with these sunglasses, I feel like... While the divine masculine looking at his options, looking at other holes or looking at other stuff he got to take care of, the karmic is stalking, watching his page, watching everything that he does, watching his every move. And then on top of that, she watching us too, the divine feminine. So the karmic is just watching everybody at this point. And then I have palm tree, palm tree. It say stability, security, growth, flexibility. Yes, this bitch think since she's crying, mad, upset, she's just going to sleep the shit off. Because at the end of the day, she thinks the divine masculine is her twin flame. And that they have stability, security, growth, endurance in their relationship. No matter what didn't happen, what whole ass shit that the divine masculine did to her, she's still thinking positive. Or she still think it's going to be a positive outcome. But my thing is... How the fuck do you think it's still going to be a positive outcome when you stressing, crying, running yourself crazy every motherfucking night because you trying to keep up with this nigga and trying to figure out what he's doing, who he fucking with? Like, what? who does that? So how do you still feel like it's going to be light at the end of the tunnel when you know that the divine masculine not even loyal to you and never been loyal to you? And then on top of that, bitch, he, uh, the divine masculine belongs to somebody else. That's what I'm saying. She's a fucking idiot. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. The karmic is an idiot. She's still holding on to dead weight. Um... But the Divine Masculine, I feel that he's still in this relationship too. But mentally, emotionally, he checked out a long time ago. But I feel like he's, in some ways he's still tied up with this bitch. But yeah, he's still checking out other females, checking out other um, people, looking at Divine Feminine. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.